today I'll be looking at these uh, meters for the USB power supplies and just let me turn it on and show you what it displays. Uh, it's pretty decent meter, uh, it has a reset button that will basically reset the uh, uh, reading of the time in the milliamp hour. Uh, uh, it constantly measures the voltage and the amps. What it does, it, I think that it can uh, deal with uh, from 3 to 20 volts and measure the current and so on. So this is really good. Uh, what it may like for you is to measure the uh, watt hours. So uh, you won't be able to compare some, devi uh, some devices uh, because uh, of, of the fact that uh, it will only measure milliamp hours. So how many amps during hour uh, uh, you are pulling for the uh, for the USB socket? And for the devices like uh, USB C charged phones, uh, that would mean basically that some of them are designed to be charged at other voltages. And this is uh, my power supply for for my uh, own phone. And as you can see here. Uh, it focuses right and it will charge uh, anything at 5, 7 on, or 9 volts and how it does this is basically uh, the, the phone tries to uh, co communicate with this only using the power line so, uh, so there are no data uh, communication between device between charger and the phone it only tries to you know uh, try it at free, uh, 300 milliamps uh, it, it, it doesn't drop and, and more and more and when the charger notices that the, uh, that the way the phone acts we will see that in a moment uh, that the way the phone tries, tries it it is a actually a quick charge enabled phone it will give it 7 volts and then 9 volts uh, most of the USB-C devices should also be able to charge at 2 amps 12 volt that's basically 24 uh, watts so that, that's all that's a lot and you will be able to compare the old uh, 5 volt phone with the newer one that charges at 9 volts uh, because uh, it is only measures the milliamp hours so you have to take this into consideration okay so here's uh, what I wanted to show you uh, when I connect the USB-C port to the phone uh, it will try the power supply and it will increase the current and drop it and, and, and do it a few times to check what kind of power supply it is and power supply will also see the phone and they, they will somehow communicate with those spikes and uh, this will allow them to increase the voltage and uh, also increase the amperage uh, how, how much uh, as you can see 7 volts 9 volts so uh, and here we go. Keep in mind that those milliamp hours are for the nine volts, so it's it's much much more. Some some power supplies will also give you twelve volts, so uh, so th th this will still be in milliamp hours. It should allow you to uh, to, to to check the current uh, with the connection to the, for example, car battery because this should work up to twenty volts. But well, it's not guaranteed. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the middle column over here in the time is blinking. That means that time is being measured. One minute, good. And uh, also the milliamp hours, the uh, the capacity, let's say, is being also measured. But uh, for example, let me show you another phone. It will be a really small one, and. Uh, Let's see. This is an old phone, as you can see here. Uh, it uh, let me reset this counter. Okay, that's good. And uh, it doesn't have a big beefy battery, and it doesn't support quick charging as so one and so forth. It will only take up to about a uh, hundred uh, or hundred and fifty uh, milliamps at the time. As you can see here, it's a black and white phone, and uh, well, if you want me to make a video about it, I'll just put it in the comments. But uh, 
uh, as you can see here it, it is barely charging maybe I should uh, try another power supply because it seems that it doesn't work with the uh, newer ones all that much it, it drops the, vol uh, the voltage one second okay so this is a usual power supply that will only supply 5 volts so it's it's a bit worse but as you can see here the current is barely there and uh, the cone over here is not blinking so you won't be able to measure the capacity of this battery even if you discharge the phone and try to measure it when charging it also you won't be able to measure capacity of the devices like bluetooth headphones or uh, for example uh, uh, earpieces and uh, because their charging current will be under the 200 milliamp hours so uh, this won't be blinking here and uh, the, the milliamps won't be locked. So basically that's about it. Uh, uh, the, the, the reset feature is really nice and I wish they had another switch that you could measure the uh, current under 200. As you can see it takes that small amount of current that it won't keep this power supply running and it will turn off on itself. Thanks for watching.